it's funny because I don't think Gen 1 was the hard part. I think, you know, it, it's get, it will get harder with each successive generation. Today is about us introducing our next statement of intent, a shoe that was made to be remade. The solution of Futurecraft Loop is that it's made with one single material. We're giving you these shoes, and we, we need you to go out and run in them, um, and we need you to give them back. They are essentially live beta testing. They give us feedback, um, good or bad, we learn, and we let the world know where we're headed. It feels like a blank canvas, um, and like, yeah, it just feels like a glimpse of, of what is possible. We have to, as humans, get past the point where it's normal to own 20, it's normal to own 50, let's use less, let's give back the shoes instead of keeping them in my closet. For me, I always care about both performance and aesthetics. It has to be a shoe that you feel comfortable in, that you're not blistering, that you can put lots of miles in. It meets all of those criteria for me, but there are little things that need to change. I know it's 100% recyclable, so although there's no waste, I guess I want to know how many generations is it going to be until we're not putting any more virgin plastics into the stream. Aujourd'hui, on utilise tous nous coureurs de plus en plus de chaussures. On les abîme et puis on, on les jette ou alors on sait pas quoi en faire et j'étais assez curieuse de découvrir finalement une paire qu'on peut recycler à l'infini, à qui on peut donner vie encore et encore. So you're getting all the shoes back, see in what conditions they are, you know, so run them through the cleaning procedure, then uh, run them through the grinding and the compacting and so on, and then the upcycling before this material can actually be used again in component. And this shoe needs to be tested again in order to validate whether the recycled material really works again and shows the same performance. As the yarn is quite experimental, it's also something where we are learning a lot and we are able to color the yarn. So this is more showing a different design intention to just show it's a different product as well. It's not a magic trick where you put in a shoe and you get a shoe out. We're not there yet. We have to go there step by step. Then we want to build a toolkit of recycled components as well. So we want a film, like we've got a film here. We want to get the outsole um, to be made from recycled material. And we're there, we've got that also working you know, we're trying this. We believe in it. It's the future. It's great to see how this might influence the next generation of stuff to come. We're able to internally phrase our ambition with Loop much clearer than back in April, for instance. And really two principles have been emerging that we are pursuing with Loop. One is to eliminate virgin intake into the system to our best ability. And second, eliminate plastic waste and landfill. So we have to get into those problems to solve them. And so the sooner we get into second and third generation, uh, the better.